Hey guys, okay, my guy Ken here. Let me show you what we got going on here. And I'll uh, take it apart and show you the pieces individually here in just a minute. But this is the web and you just saw me stitching uh, in my video there. I've got a uh, chain link connector. This is what you'd use if you wanted to connect two pieces of chain linking, uh, chain together rather, heavy towing chain. Um, that ain't going nowhere. It ain't going to bend. It ain't going to break. It ain't going to snap. I've got it just through the pocket that I sewed in. Then that leaves it open so that I can take it on and off. Just slip it down in there. Kind of like the Dutch clips that, uh, that uh, you see on Shug's videos and stuff. Then I've got two brass rings. That was the most expensive part of the whole kit. These were $1.75 a piece. I think I paid 50 cent a piece for these uh, chain links. $1.75 a piece for these. And uh, I think it was 50 cent for the webbing. I got 16 foot of that. But um, I've just got a lark's head. And I'll show you how I did that in a minute. But I've just got a lark's head on here to uh, connect the rings to my rope for my hammock. And of course I've just got it knotted on there. Then I got the same thing again over here on the other side. And you can see I've got a slippery half hitch in there to uh, keep it from slipping on me. Just got it looped up. I had to go higher up on the tree because I made these ropes so long that uh, I couldn't get it to suspend right. And you can see this one's actually got the excuse me, this one's actually got the chain link turned but it still ain't going nowhere. It's pulling in that notch and it's pulling down on it so it's not going anywhere. It's still secure. But uh, make sure I'm gonna be in frame here. We'll go back a little bit more. How about that? Sorry for beating you around like that. Alright. Does anybody else get nervous when they're getting ready to test out something they made? That seems to be, uh, I don't hear any stitches popping. I can see it pulling the nylon up there where that knot is, but uh, Bill Sigler told me a better way to tie these knots off and a better way to do the, uh, the cordage through it and everything, so I'm going to do his way when I get the rope I'm going to use. Um, I'm trying to decide whether or not to use 550 cord. I know a lot of people have used 550 cord, but I'm bigger than a lot of people, y'all. Um, if anybody 250 pounds plus uses 550 cord for their uh, suspension on their hammock, let me know. If it's holding you, then I'll switch to the 550 cord. Obviously, I got tons of that laying around. But uh, that seems to be holding my weight. I don't want to. I don't want to put my boots in it. But. I can lay back here. I'll pick my feet up to show you all that it's supporting my, my full weight here. I think that's going to work out pretty good, y'all. I said I got 16 foot of the uh, webbing at 50 cent a yard or 50 cent a foot. So I got $8 invested in the webbing. Four rings at $1.75 is $4. 75 75 is $1.25, $1.50. So $7 for the rings. And uh, 50 cent a piece for the thing, so 750. So what? Seven, just say 17 dollars with tax and everything, and the gas money to go get it. For 17 dollars, I've got a hammock suspension system that is probably overrated. I don't know what the straps were. I want to say they said the straps held 300 pounds. Might have been 200 pounds for the uh, webbing, but if it's got a 200 pound tensile strength. And I've got one on each end, and each end's only holding up about 140 pounds, give or take. You know, I know that's not true, but that's how I'm going to look at it until it snaps on me. Then I'll say I need some stronger straps. But that's it, y'all. Go to Walmart and get you some nylon for $1.50 a yard. And go to your Ace Hardware store and get you $17 worth of hammock suspension equipment. Spend 30 minutes sewing you some seams together and make you a hammock that you can call your own. 
It'll fit you because you can make it as wide and narrow as long as you want. Make it whatever color you want. I kind of like the color this one is. It's kind of a, I don't know, like a shark skin gray kind of look. So it's kind of subdued. It's not really standing out that loud. Um, that's it for right now from Gabe I Got Ken, y'all. I appreciate everybody watching. Appreciate your support. And uh, I'm going to kick back, catch me some Z's, fuck you. Then I'll go in and get this video uploaded for you. Or better yet, let me show you why I'm not doing any videos on bamboo today. And then I'll take this apart and show you. How about that? I don't know if y'all can see that. This is the night sky. This is what we're in for for tonight. Some nice big thunder boomers coming our way. You can see them over the top of the trailers there. You can hear it rumble a little bit every now and then. So I didn't want to get out here and get involved in a bunch of videos on bamboo. So I'll go ahead and take this tarp or this hammock down rather than show you how I did these. I said it's super easy. We just got a slippery, slippery half hitch here. And the webbing, y'all have all seen Shug's videos. I'm not doing anything new. Everybody's done this. I just did it cheap. You just pass the webbing through. Pull it over the top ring and under the bottom ring. And what happens is, as you put tension on it, the tension pulls this top ring down. And that applies tension onto the strap so that it can't slide. So that's my strap and then for the the two ascension rings that I'm calling them I don't know what they sell these for at uh, Tractor Supply Company or Ace Hardware but these little rings little brass rings can't talk y'all I've just got them passed through this little loop here a couple of times I just took the two rings, took the end of my cordage, found the center of it, passed it through, reached between your two pieces of string here, and then pass it over the loops so you're doing like a lark's head knot. And that offsets them, wraps it up in there good and tight. It ain't going nowhere. You ain't got to worry about it falling off on you or nothing. So. The fun part's remembering how I got it on there so I can remember how to get it off again, huh? Kind of like one of those old Chinese puzzles. There you go. Uh, of course, I'll leave these attached once I get my actual string on here. And if anybody's used 550 cord and they, they trust it for heavyweights like me, let me know. And uh, get this off of here and show you this real quick. And I've just got my where I just stitched it together real quick it seems to be holding as crappy as it looks it's holding um, now I can put this around the tree bring the uh, webbing around with it we'll actually do it this way you can see it and it just pops down through that slot and pulls and it actually pulls on it you know like so so it's not going anywhere I mean, you can see how thick this is that's not going to bend under you know my, my heavy weight or anything like that I'd probably trust it up to, you know, two people being in it. Don't know if I'd trust my stitches, but I'd trust the, the link itself. And, uh, you know, this stuff don't add much weight to the kit. These two brass rings actually weigh more than uh, the strap and everything on there. So, that's it. Thought I'd show you all that. Just a common man way to build your own hammock system. Your own hammock suspension, especially. I appreciate everybody. I'm going to go ahead and cut this off now and go in and uh, give me something to eat run to the store before it gets too bad out and uh, I'll see y'all in the next video